Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So Dan Letapar from the Dan Letapar Show says he was watching Nikola Jokic's performance. And he was saying that Jimmy Butler is saying this is our year. And when I watched the Lakers slash Nuggets last night, I said, no, it's not. I will say, I don't understand why people can't just give the Miami Heat the credit that they deserve. First of all, we're doing stuff that nobody thought we would do. Okay, we lost our first playing game to the Atlanta Hawks. We beat the Chicago Bulls. Then we go ahead. We beat the one-seeded Milwaukee Bucks. No Tyler Hero. No Victor Oladipo. Then we beat the New York Knicks. Now we win game one versus the Boston Celtics. At the end of the day, we're doing stuff that nobody thought that we would actually even do. Nobody even dreamed that we would be here. The Miami Heat, they beat the Boston Celtics in game one. 123 to 116. And at the end of the day, Jimmy Butler, he's setting the tone. How can this not be our year? When you really sit and think about it, I understand that the year didn't go our way in terms of the regular season. We lost games to the Pistons, the Spurs. We lost games that we had no business losing. You know, like at some points, it looks like the Miami Heat, they didn't even want to play basketball. Like it looked like they were fed up with each other. People were talking about blowing up the team, trading everybody, trading Jimmy Butler, even me. I didn't expect this Miami Heat team to get this far. But once again, we we like to talk about Heat culture. And I think sometimes because we talk about it so much, we play it down. And people don't realize this team is built for the playoffs. We have a coach that's built for the playoffs. Jimmy Butler is a playoff performer. When it comes to big moments, this is when the Miami Heat rise to every occasion. They don't back down from any challenge. So at the end of the day, when you really sit and you look at the script, of the NBA this season, and you look at the Miami Heat journey this year, how can it not be our year? I'm not saying that that the Joker is not a great player. To me, he should have been the MVP over Joel Embiid. I think that Jokic is a great player. What he's doing at seven foot with his passing ability, his scoring ability, his post ability, everything that he's doing is phenomenal. But once again, if I'm really going to push all my chips towards the Miami Heat, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm pushing all my chips towards the Miami Heat. And once again, I never thought the Miami Heat would make it this far. I'm not going to sit here and lie. But when you look at the Miami Heat, Jimmy Butler, Coach Bo, Bam Adebayo, and the role players rolling, if they can really keep this up past the Boston Celtics, how can you count them out? And they're in the NBA Finals. That's the crazy part about it. We are in the Eastern Conference Finals. All these ESPN reporters made every excuse. They blamed the weather versus New York Knicks. Then they said Giannis was hurt. They blamed all these things after we lost Tyler Hero, Victor Oladipo. Jimmy Butler rolled his ankle. Bam Manabal was dealing with hamstring injuries. We had our problems too, and we overcame. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe, because I think this is the Miami Heat's year to win.